it's really good to be here, and thank you so very much for that welcome. Um, I, the overriding feeling I have right now is, is one of uh, gratefulness to, to all of you who have, have served uh, NALF, the, the senior fellows, the uh, board members, uh, the executive directors all over the country, particularly Harriet, who's uh, done such a marvelous job here, and uh, the board of trustees that's evolved over the years, and those 17 uh, impressive thought leaders uh, that helped found uh, ALF with me. They, they were, they were just uh, an incredible group of people, and they're the ones that designed this whole curriculum. Um, and most of them are gone now, uh, but a few are left. Warren Bennis, you, you recognize his name. He's the Peter Drucker of leadership. And uh, I was just with Warren, reminiscing about all of this. We were out in Santa Monica just three weeks ago. He's, uh, he's 90 now, and, and is just thriving. He's on his 23rd book uh, on leadership. Unbelievable guy. So those are the kind of guys that help help form this thing. And and to me, it's just stunning that, that, that 30 years have passed since the founding of uh, of ALF. Uh, that that day in London when when I decided to leave the practice of law, uh, our office was on Grosvenor Square there in London and. I had been practicing law with Graceful for my, the firm I helped found for 20 years and just walked over that threshold into this unbelievable unknown to, to try to determine how to develop better leadership for the country and for the world. And um, the first person, of course, I ran into, which was uh, the following Monday, was the great physicist David Bohm, who, who actually at that time gave me the, the theoretical underpinning for the whole program that, that you'll read about in the book. And Dr. Bohm has since uh, passed away, but he's one of the uh, greatest theoretical physicists and, and scientific philosophers that the world has ever seen. And that happened just the second day after I left the law firm. And I've been unpacking what he what he gave me ever since. So um, the the feeling of, of gratefulness uh, not only uh, is one that relates to the people I've mentioned, but the four thousand people who have gone through this program. Some four thousand people, which is beyond what I had ever imagined, really. I wasn't thinking about that that far, but what a what a story! And I've had the privilege to meet with and talk with, you know, a very large percentage of them. And then their stories are told in this book. And um, I'm, I'm also grateful for the the theory uh, and the practices that grew out of the. Uh, development of this curriculum and the way that the 4,000 people have actually uh, matriculated through this program and helped me understand how to better uh, deliver these kind of programs. And there's, there's, there's two major streams that you'll read about in this book that were brought together. One was just barely breaking its uh, uh, the surface of uh, people's um, memory and, and it, in 1980, and it's the theory of servant leadership that Robert Greenlee wrote about, which is one of the major underpinnings of this program. That stream, and the stream uh, made up of three parts, which relate to the power of nature as a portal to societal and individual transformation, uh, the uh, power of reflection and solitude uh, to develop better leadership and to help discover uh, 
new, uh, new ways of doing things, and you don't normally do that except through reflection. And the third one is the power of uh, Dr. Bohm's dialogue, Bohmian dialogue. So these, those three elements and the servant leadership stream all came together to, to create this very powerful curriculum that is now um, been written about in books all over the world and is informing leadership development everywhere. So to me, that is a, a, a shocking sort of development that came out of this. And, it's, and I'm so very grateful for it. And, and most of all, uh, this uh, opportunity to help found and develop the American Leadership Forum gave me uh, the greatest gift of all, and, and that was a life of, of meaning and a life of adventure. It, it's been a great ride for these last 30, 35 years. And, and one of the things I've learned, which has been the most powerful lesson coming out of the ALF for me, is the, uh, is the lesson that the great 17th, 18th century uh, scientist and philosopher, Goethe, uh, wrote about, and it's a couplet that has served me really well. I just want to remind you all, you've probably seen this in some of these books, but this is, this is what he said, which has served me and I hope will serve all of you uh, as it has me. He, he said, Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. It's a story about commitment and about deep intention and how that uh, can carry you uh, a long, long way. So um, I'm really happy to be here with you. Thank you again for being here and for the contributions you've made. And uh, later, if uh, anybody wants to ask questions, I'm, I'm available for a Q&A session. So thank you.